What's up everybody, King of Fumble here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about the brand spanking new Doge chain. If you guys are interested in jumping in here, I'm going to give you guys the instructions on how to get started using the Doge chain. So this is just like the Binance smart chain or the other types of Ethereum virtual machines that are out there, you know, the KuCoin smart chain. Uh, so there's positives and negatives to this and definitely stick around for the whole video uh, before you just start following and right away and, and, and starting to trade these tokens because there is some good, the bad and the ugly that we need to talk about all together. Uh, I'll put them up on the screen right here. Um, some things to know you might want to pause it. These are the things we're going to be talking about later on in the video. But the first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to actually get in the Doge chain before we talk about all the important stuff. So this is the website right here. It's called Doge dogechain.dog you're going to need some doge coins to use the doge chain oddly enough uh, so you can get those from any exchange uh, and you don't actually have to have a dogecoin wallet because i'll show you kind of it works pretty simply uh, so up, up at the top of this page it says bridge to doge chain so you guys can click on that it's going to bring you to this page right here once you get to this bridge page uh, you can connect with your metamask wallet it should give you all of the instructions on how to add Doge Chain to MetaMask. Go ahead and do that. Uh, just to accept all the things that it asks you to do over here. And once you are on the Doge Chain, it's going to give you a Doge deposit address down here. So this is where you're going to send your Doge from, either from your personal Doge wallet or from your exchange. So whatever you send over here will be converted to W Doge or a wrapped Doge for the Doge chain. And that's what the Doge chain uses. It uses W Doge, right? So uh, once you have bridged over, that takes about five minutes. It needs six block confirmations and Doge is not the fastest coin on the planet. So it might take maybe five to 10 minutes for that to get confirmed uh, from wherever you are sending it from. And then on your wallet, you should see your Doge coins ready to go in MetaMask after that does confirm. Just do be a little bit patient there. Um, so the other option, I don't really recommend this, but this is available for bridging on and off of the Doge chain is using multi-chain. So you can move over stable coins and all kinds of other things uh, from the any other mainnet to the Doge mainnet. So this is a pretty cool website. There are some fees associated with this as to where with the Doge chain official bridge, there are no fees. Now, what can you do in the Doge chain before we talk about all the, the important important stuff. Uh, there's a couple of different swaps that you can use. Right now, there's two main ones. There's DogeSwap, dogeswap.org. Um, pretty much works the same as Uniswap. And there's also Yod. Yoj. <laughs> it's a play on the word for Yoda. So Yodi, Yodi Swap, however you want to call it. And on Yodi Swap, there are other things in addition to just having uh, the swapping option, you have farming, you have staking, um, there's a little spin the wheel thing. So it's a little more uh, robust, more things you can do in this altogether. All right, so that's essentially it. You guys can kind of explore a lot of the Doze chain on your own from there. Uh, but definitely, like I said, stick around because there's a lot that you're going to want to unpack in this video uh, for the safety of it all. Uh, some other things that you might want to note as well, there are, there is an Ado a Doge Explorer. So if you want to look at your address on here and see kind of what's going on on the back end, it's explorer.dogechain.dog. And then most of your um, exchange viewing websites like Dex Tools are over here, right here, Dex Screener. They have an option for you to look at Doge Chain and look at all the the tokens on Doge Chain, the transactions, you can see right here, um, you know, the 24 hour volume, the most popular coin is Elon, um, paired with, with the W Doge token, which is the main token on the Doge Chain. And then you have a lot of other coins here too. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly right here. Things to know. The first thing to know is this is not a chain made by Doge coins. So it's not an official Doge chain from the official Doge website. Um, it's made by the community. Um, so that can be good. It can be bad. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the long run. Uh, if, as long as it's a product that works, it's a product that works. Number two, this is a brand new chain. If you're watching this video on release date, it's about maybe three or four days old uh, since I've released this video. Um, so that means a couple of things. It, it, it means 
Very, very good chance of opportunities. You know, you can't get any earlier than this. If you want to get a 10,000x, now's the time to do it. However, the bad side of that is this chain could be borked. It could be broken. It could be exploited in the future if things are not working correctly. It, maybe it's not audited properly. Uh, so that's the, that's the risk of using a brand new chain. Some people were actually worried that they couldn't bridge their tokens off of the Doge chain. So they think they, you can go on it, but you can't go off it. We'll talk about that a little bit later too. Uh, this could also be a ghost chain. So maybe two weeks from now or a month from now, this is a chain that absolutely nobody uses. And the last point that is pretty important here is that there's basically no liquidity. So you guys can look at the farms here, $4 million. That's basically nothing for total value locked in the form of crypto. Um, and when you have basically no liquidity, it means that there's huge volatility even in stable coins so like your your coin can be worth a lot t tomorrow and become worth a lot more and then become completely worthless all within a matter of 24 hours that's what happens when you have very very low liquidity other bad things can happen too like maybe someone holds all of the tokens for uh the token for coin that you want to buy on the doge chain and you know the price can go up a lot and then somebody can literally just steal everything and just rug the entire token uh, since they have all of the liquidity on their side. So a lot of problems can happen with low liquidity. But of course, like I said, since this is a new chain, it's going to take time for that liquidity to get there. And if it does survive, uh, like the Binance Smart Chain or your other chains that are out there, uh, then obviously that total value lock is going to go up. And like I said, there's the positives with having such a new chain is your APRs here are extremely large. So you can see I'm, I'm right now I'm staking some Yodi USDC. I'm only staking $50 worth, so it's nothing to, uh, to write home about. And you know, the APR is 1,320%, which is really, really good. And in addition to that, if this chain does take off, uh, you know, it might be worth a lot more if people are going to start buying into the Yodi, Yodi token. Uh, so they also have a white paper. You guys can read through this. The uh, kind of what I mean, it talks about what the chain is. It's it's really nothing special. It's not like they're reinventing the wheel here. It's just another EVM smart chain. Um, and the one thing that people are worried about, people are worried about the fact that you know when you bridge onto the Doge chain, they just steal your Doge and they they sell it on an exchange and basically make your W Doge worthless. Um, so that could be the case, but I don't think it is because what they're saying right here is. The way that the bridge works, which is the way that most bridges work, is once you go onto the chain, it creates a one-to-one -one ratio token. So in this case, Doge becomes W Doge one-to-one. -one. And once you exit the chain, the way that most bridges work uh, for uh, side chains like this or, or second layers like this is it destroys the token so um, it doesn't give you the uh, opportunity to sell that token or, or, or that address doesn't really have the opportunity to withdraw and put that on an exchange um, but you guys can read into it more you guys can look at the discord and all that stuff and <laughs> believe the fud or not believe the fud but that's kind of my uh, takeaway from that uh, so you got, again you guys can read through this like I said they're not trying to reinvent the wheel all they're really trying to do is make it so that the giant doge community can do more than just uh, say going to the moon and uh, Dogecoin go up uh, because you, you, can't, you couldn't really do DeFi stuff with that with Shiba Inu you you can but not with Dogecoin because it's, on a, it's not on the Ethereum blockchain and now they have their own chain that you can bridge to which I, I think is cool overall um, you know we talked about Ethereum being the number one coin in the future and this bodes well for it if other coins are becoming a part of the EVM ecosystem, the Ethereum virtual machine ecosystem. Uh, it just goes to show that maybe that coin is the one that should be number one. And uh, all these different second layer solutions and side chains can work together. It, they, they don't necessarily have to be like Ethereum is number one, BSC is number two, everything else is dead. Uh, they can work together. Uh, but of course, like I said, there's, there's risk involved with this. It can become a ghost chain. We've talked about other chains on this channel like Velos and Moon River and I mean you guys can look on Dextool there's there's a lot of different chains available right now besides the ones that I just mentioned all these ones right here you can go to Dex Screener and kind of see even more chains listed right here there's so many out there um, but a lot of them aren't aren't used at all um, so that could be the the, the <laughs> the case for Doge in the future. And honestly, like, you guys can do a lot of research and figure out a lot about these other coins. Definitely research them because when a lot of money starts going onto a place, there's a lot of scams get there too. And I think the scams might get here really fast because 
um, the, the the threshold for developing them is, is really, really easy. Um, you guys can see there's more than what I just mentioned in this video. Doge swap, Yoli swap, Cable swap, Quick swap, Doge, Shrek, Pup swap. So there's a lot of decentralized exchanges and other tokens that uh, I can't even talk about because I don't know anything about them. So you guys want to do your research on your own tokens and see what happens. But it gives you an on-ramp to kind of play around with your crypto for a little bit. Maybe this is something that could potentially take off um, now, the W Doge token shouldn't take off because it's, it's basically paired one to one with the regular Doge token. But what they are doing in here, they do plan on doing an airdrop um, eventually to people with this token called the Doge Chain token or DC tokens. Um, so if you are, are playing around with this ecosystem long enough and maybe you're really into Doge, Maybe later on down the line, you'll get these DC tokens and they could be worth something. Potentially, we'll see. You know, it worked for Uniswap and the Uni token and it worked for a few other things. But, uh, you know, maybe it'll work for Do this, this Doge chain coin as well. And um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you guys can read the white paper and, and, and explore this on your own. If any mind-blowing projects come out, I'll talk about them on this channel. But honestly, I'll, I'll, per personally, I'm probably just going to be dipping my toe in this very very lightly uh you know because there's been so many of them in the past and it's not a guaranteed moonshot all right guys that is everything for today i'll catch you in the next video like comment subscribe if you haven't head on over to my patreon where you can get access to these videos two to three days earlier than everyone else as well as access to my discord chat where we talk about this stuff before i make videos about them additionally i also have a telegram chat a new telegram chat public chat uh you don't have to be a discord member to join that um, and I've restarted it, so I got rid of all the spam, and the, the conversation is more organic now that it has normal members. So that's going to be listed in the description below as well. Just go to my announcements, and on my announcements, you'll find my chat paired from there. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.